Anthropic just launched Claude 3.5 Sonnet, which is apparently even more intelligent than JetGPT 3.4.0, and we are about to find that out. Is it true for RPG gaming and AI gaming in general? I'm just going to take our comparison of GPT-4.0 versus Gemini and I take the exact same prompt and put this into Claude and let's see who goes and wins the cup of best AI dungeon master. Certainly let's begin your D&D adventure. Okay perfect, so we got a character sheet, all of the three big AIs did this, nothing that special. But yeah okay, and we are a Lara, this is, yeah and we are again a rogue, so this is very similar to what JetGPT 4.0 and Gemini is creating, we should try to increase creativity of AI. We are an elven wood, um, we are a wood elf on level one. And let's go. High dexterity, high intelligence, good wisdom and charismatic. So we have some standard equipment. This is pretty much exactly the same than in the previous games. Some backpack with basic adventure gear. This is cool. In the last character sheets we got very detailed like water skin, like a bit of bread and stuff like this. I personally like that it's just a bit more general here. But yeah, let's, let's take a look into our backpack later. So our campaign is the Cursed Catacombs of Shadowmere and Alara Night Whisper is at the entrance. So this is again very very JetGPT 4.0 or Gemini like. Rumors speak of untold treasures and yeah you know the drill it's more or less the same. Anyways it gives me A, B, C and you may also respond with a free text action if you prefer. So this is the perfect response. We wanted A, B, C and a free text action, exactly like ChatGPT 4.0 and better than Gemini. So this is definitely at the top right now. Let's go. We are going to the symbols on the arcway. Maybe there is a trap. So if you just enter the catacombs, everything will be dangerous. Just run into the catacombs. And now this is another test. I said that it should have common sense, as you see here, always use common sense and let's see if it allowed me to do this i understand you want to run into the catacombs but that would be an unwise and potentially fail action so again claude 3.5 sonnet grabs another point right here yeah gpt 4.0 did the same and gemini also had a common sense well it was not as precise and giving me these reasons behind it so i think this is on par with gpt 4.0 still would you like to cautiously enter the catacombs yeah so it repeats this is perfect just be a bit more careful maybe we trigger a trap well let's see you cautiously enter the catacombs the air is cold and damp and you hear a click below your feet this is dangerous and now there are dogs shooting out from the holes in the walls this was the reason why i should have examined the symbols on the arcway they gave me this hint and i choose poorly anyways we're going to get some damage the result is 12. unfortunately this isn't enough to fully dodge the trap two darts strike you dealing four damage seriously it is the second scene of this game and we are already at half health <laughs> holy damn what? so darts and dungeons and alaras and rogues this is ai's gaming idea of dungeons and dragons stay tuned we're going to add creativity to all of those ais but this is a comparison so, so it's perfect that they have the same ideas of characters and dungeons what would you like to do next we are at half health. I don't think we have any healing inside of us. Carefully inspect the floor for more traps. Attempt to treat your wounds. I think I would try to see because I don't want this to be over that quickly. This was a decent effort to heal ourselves. We recover one hit point. I really love the reasonability because we stopped the bleeding. Our current status is five of eight hit points and we have injuries. Our left arm and right thigh is wounded. And this is amazing. It gives us minus one on dexterity because we have our leg wounded. And it gives us minus one on attack rolls because we have our left arm wounded. And this makes so much sense. I really love you for that, Claude 2.5. For this, I give you one point. By the way, prompt adherence. Yes, we got a random roll here. The result is 12, which is not enough. I just wanted to come back to this. This was our first 
role of Claude AI and we failed. I really love it for that. Check out our ChatGPT 4.0 random dice rolls with a small addition of a Python script inside of the prompt. We are continuing through the dark corridors and what would we like to do next? Now we are hurt a bit, we healed a bit. Ah, you can hear faint unsettling sounds echoing. I don't want to search any alcoves. I want to know what the source is. Move forward and check out the source is really not the wisest idea. However, I'll interpret your decision as moving forward to investigate the source of the sounds while remaining alert. It doesn't rerun this, but it just says, hey dude, maybe you know that you are in a dangerous dungeon, you are hurt, so I will just think that you want to be a bit alert. This is perfect. Another point for Claude AI. I have to say this right now. It's it's just 10 of 10. You move deeper into the catacombs. So let's see what's going on there. A mix of scratching and loud guttural growls. Oh, this is cool. As you round the corner, you come face to face with the source. Three giant rats, each the size of a small dog. I don't know. Will this be my end in this dungeon? I roll a stealth check. Uh, let's hope that we do it. It's an 11 and we have a dexterity of a 9 minus 1 with our injury. Unfortunately, one of the red notices you and lets you sh out a shrill squeak. All three of them turn and you Oh my god. We are dying already? Yeah, by the way, this was the goal. A dangerous deadliest dungeon master and who wins the prize. Killing the character of the player is something that was almost impossible with GPT-4. We managed to do it once of two tries with Gemini and let's see if Claude can do it at the first try. I think it is on a good way. You must act quickly. What do you want to do? Attack the nearest rat with your short sword? Try to shoot one with your short bow? Attempt to intimidate? I don't think it will work. So I think C is a really interesting choice here. Intimidate the rats and scare them off. I mean, they are giant rats the size of a small dog, but maybe I can intimidate them. Maybe I will die right now. This doesn't look so good. The result is a 7 and unfortunately this is not enough. I had it in my guts. Honestly, why should three giant rats be afraid of a small rogue and they have red eyes like they are mad. Instead it seems to agitate them further. This is my end. Oh my god. I roll the attack. The first rat sinks its teeth into your already injured left arm. You take three damage and your arm injury worsens. Current status Hit points, two of eight, injuries, left arm severely wounded, and right thigh wounded. Okay, so this still keeps track of everything. This was also something that you mentioned in the comments. GPT-40 and Gemini will forget about everything that we said if you're five minutes into the game. So this is another point. You are in a dire situation. What do you want to do? Claude gives me such cool ideas like, of course, attack, retreat. This is the obvious choice, but use something to distract them. It's also really cool. I would say we just now fight back. I just want to see how the attack works. You result 10. Huh. This misses the edge I read. The red attacks again. Hit, hit, miss. Okay, I think now we're dead and Claude did it. Two of the reds managed to bite you. You take a total of five damage. This brings your hit points to minus three. A ladder Night Whisper collapses on the cold stone floor, unconscious and bleeding. The giant reds continue to gnaw at her fallen form. I'm afraid this is where Lara's adventure comes to a tragic end. The cursed catacombs of Shadowmere have claimed another victim. I would like to quickly create a new character, see if we get someone else just to know that it is not a rogue, it is not a girl, it is not a Lara. So let's see, what, what do we get? Maybe a dwarf or something would be cool, or a wizard. There we go, a dwarf fighter. So this is completely different now. This is amazing. And now we are at the Frost Peak Mountains with an icy summit. So this is really cool. We have now a different, different character, Thorn Ironheart, a mountain dwarf fighter. Right now, I have to say for RPG AI role-playing, Claude AI is the best. I highly recommend you to check out my video where I just use exactly what is created here and put this into Stable Diffusion 3 and we get an image out of this because the prompt adherence is so good. Check it out and we'll all see us next time. Bye-bye.